What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, the real, and the uncut answer. OK, so whatever words you hear and anything you see in this world, make sure you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the word back to God in prayer. I can't stress this enough because the Decepticons are really roaming around in this time. The end times, the times where the wheat and the tares will be separated. OK, and speaking of that, let's talk about this wealth transfer, ladies and gentlemen, because God, our father, our lovely and awesome and an amazing father, has a very important and urgent message for you today. It's been a while since I get to do this uh, intro. I've been off for a couple of days and some stuff been happening that God been warning us about. And I've been having to let y'all know what's coming through to let y'all know God don't play when he say things. Because some people still think he play games. He don't play games, y'all. Our father really is about what he say. So, all right, let's get into this word today. So, this is about, uh, this is a precautionary word about the wealth transfer and how people... I told you guys, people are going to come through to try to deceive you. And there's going to be Decepticons from a spiritual aspect, the demons and the devil that will mislead you with this wealth transfer and take you into different directions other than God's. So this is what our father had to say today. Many people will come to you and say the words wealth transfer. OK, through their words from season to season. Many repeated my children's words. Many disguised by the enemy. Watch who you look to. In previous seasons, I have delayed this wealth transfer along with many other things because my people were not ready. You have had much time and I have given many chances. Start moving now. Get your foot up in there, y'all. If God been pushing you to do it. I know it's scary, but you got to move. He, he ain't going to keep delaying because you don't want to move. He gonna, he'll delay if you're not prepared. But he didn't gave time. Get your butts up in here. All right. If you're set to be in here, you hear me? This is a mass, mass thing going on, ladies and gentlemen. Now, there are a lot of people before I go into this next part. There are a lot of people that go and call another person false because somebody's giving out a word. But see, when it comes to big blessings like this. God will delay because he don't want to put us in bad situations. So he'll let his people know, get ready. I plan to do something this month or get ready. I plan to do this. But then he changes his mind because he doesn't see that people are ready or hearts are in the right place. OK, and he will do that. It doesn't mean that something won't happen. It just means he has indeed changed his mind and he can change his mind. Yes, God changes his mind. People that are supposed to go to hell. God said they they do something. They say, please give me another chance, Father. I promise I'm going to do it. He says, now is, Jesus says, now is not your time. Bring them back and they speak on it and people still don't believe them, but they doing for God to get that second chance. You understand? With blessings, you can delay your own blessing and God can say, nope, mm -mm, you ain't ready. So understand that. Here, Continuing on with the word, people took my delay and called my prophets false because they saw money. So people got mad and said, you, you, you said this and you said that and this didn't happen. And, ah, you know, because they saw money. And if you understand my heart, says God, you understand my ways. Yes, I can delay. Many failed those tests because they never seeked me. They only saw finances. Why didn't you come and ask me? Why you ain't going to ask God? He could have just told you. Listen, back way back when, when this was supposed to uh, happen, I said, Father, like, what is going on? You know, what's the deal going on here? And he gave me dreams, two dreams immediately about how people was in the wrong place with their heart. OK, and showed me it was going to happen. Just not right there because he had to delay. And it's not the first time. All through 2022, he did because he, he, he wanted to give people many chances. He saw people awakening. He said, I want my people to be ready. All my people. I want everybody to have a chance. This is a once in a lifetime thing. OK, so many people that's thinking about they self. Stop thinking about yourself. This is for the body of Christ. You are not the only person in the body of Christ. Instead of having a heart of, oh, oh, looking for something to be wrong with people all the time. How about you just spend time with God? 
And if God gives you warning to give out properly uh, to people, then he will do so. But don't do that on your own accord because you need to understand God has his ways of doing everything in, on his time. Not when you ready to. No matter what you're going through, you keep seeking God. All right. So that's for that. Now, this is what the Lord said. Many of the false will take the words, wealth transfer and mislead my people with no instruction, no lesson, no direction. I will never leave you with any without any of those things. OK, he will not. He's going to give you a lesson on something. He's going to give you some form of direction, clarity, instruction. OK, he says, if you are not careful, people will mislead you into the wrong time frame. And many will miss it. OK, again, I have delayed in previous seasons. Many never came to me and to ask why they just assumed it was fake because they just don't. They always seek a man and don't go to God. It's people that will sit here and do that. Stop doing that. If you keep doing that, you're going to get deceived, disappointed in everything. Holy Spirit coming through right now. Come on, Father, what you got to say? Stop doing it. Because your father will never mislead you into a place of uncertainty. He always going to clear something up for you and lead you into the right direction. He don't play like that. So why is you going to people and seeking validation for people on something so important? Stop doing that. Yes, there are people of God that will give you the words, his words, not theirs. So you need to take those words back to God. It is not a person's words. It is God's message. And a person is being obedient and sending out those messages. So you test the spirits. It's your responsibility. Don't blame another person because you got messed up because you didn't go to God. I can't. I'm telling y'all it's coming. Things are coming. These um, pieces of judgment are going down. God not playing. Listen, OK, people can know all the scripture, but not know me. If you ask a person particular questions, they won't even be able to answer certain things because they're not real. In the past, if something was for mass amounts of people, I gave clear instruction to my prophets. Come on through Jesus. What you got to say? The city of Nineveh. The city of Nineveh repented, had to repent. Repent for your sins, repent, and I will not have judgment come upon the land. What happened? It ain't happened because they did repent. They follow what? Ladies and gentlemen, instructions. <laughs> okay, I'm just giving you all the theme here. Blood on the doorpost. Let's take you to some scripture. Shall we go? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Exodus 12, 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the, the land of Egypt. Do you hear me? Instructions had to be followed in order to get moved out of the way of wrath. Do you hear me? Instructions got to be followed so you can properly receive your blessing so the devil can't steal from you. How do you do this? You go to God. That's it. Okay. Yes, you can listen to people God has led you to. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But you got to take those words back to God. I can't stress it. Or you're going to get stolen from in this season if you ain't everything you and when you speak on a person before you even say a word about something say father what is going on with this i need to know some clarity because if you run your mouth to the wrong person calling the wrong people fake and doing all these things you gonna get messed up i can't stress that enough i didn't have some people try me and try me and try me you gonna get messed up because the god don't play God don't play. You realize you got to realize you could have potentially just went against the words that God has spoken and God looking at you like, excuse you. And you didn't even you had the nerve to speak, but you didn't have the nerve. You didn't have the decency to come and ask me. Have you lost your mind? Do you know your father? Apparently not. So that's why I always say test the spirits because instructions will be given. Never just receive a word without instruction or lesson. Many will listen to the wrong people and will lose out. The enemy can steal my righteous, my people, his servants, his righteous words, but not understand why it's going to happen. 
He says it's the end of crypto and blessings to others and banks. So at this last part to clarify, he's been talking, telling people to get into crypto because he can personally control. Uh, personally, listen to me. <laughs> That's how much of reality God is. He can control um, everything that happens. But crypto is one way he going to oh, he going to tear them up. The wicked going to get torn up. Uh, and then that's how we're going to be able to bless other people because these banks, ladies and gentlemen, are going downhill and they're going to try to keep you in captivity and you're going to lose it. They're going to want to control you. Central bank, banking system and digital currency. That's what they're going to. God keep trying to warn you. Stop waiting to do these things. You hear me? Get in position. This ain't no thing about just finance. This is about your future being, excuse me, being able to be successful with God's purpose for you you have to have the finances to do it you can't just start a business with zero dollars god gonna have to do if he's telling you this is what you need to do to get into your business why is you what are you doing you can't be scared in this hour don't be scared listen god keep telling me he don't bite y'all come on the holy spirit don't even bite you it could if it wanted to but it don't okay <laughs> so go and i'm telling y'all Anybody can tell you about a wealth transfer or transfer of wealth. People, how do you think that the, the enemy disguises his servants as a servants of righteousness as he would disguise himself as an angel of light? He appears to be Jesus. And what he going to do? He going to say some scripture that are true and he going to change some scripture. Right. So how over the Internet do people get disguised? The devil knows who God's chosen people are. And he will take those words that God give those people and put it on his. That's the disguise. So it's not just about prophecies coming to pass. You got to use some common sense. How is it? Because, well, it ain't common no more. The sense God gave us ain't common no more. It's the world sense, which is just all crazy. But common sense. What? How would you disguise somebody as false? Stealing prophecies. That's. Make, don't that make sense to people when you actually think doing it makes sense because people don't think nowadays they too lazy to think they just listen for real i'm not even trying to be rude when i say that that is just real that's why a lot of people get deceived because they're too lazy to go into the word or they own accord with god because it's gonna take some work you're gonna have to take some time out you know people don't feel like doing that now look people gonna talk to you about this wealth transfer but they ain't even gonna know when or how or the instructions or, you know, some people may just give you a word that are from God about a transfer of wealth coming and things that you need to still pay attention to. Things about yourself and your relationship with God you still need to focus on. Give you backstories of history because history, what it do? What it do, y'all? History what? It repeats itself. That's what it does. That's what it does. History repeats itself. So, if God gave Jesus this message to cast those nets out and catch those fish. And all of a sudden fish appeared in that net. What makes you think he won't do the same thing for you? Don't let nobody tell you that that ain't going to happen. You better rebuke them in the name of Jesus and tell them, hey, you're not about to tell me what my father got in store for me. You a liar. Because the devil a lie. And guess what? We don't mess with the devil around here. But you also got to pray for those people that are deceived because that's some dangerous stuff. And the ministry as a whole, okay, from being a teacher to a prophet to a, just any type of responsibility God gives you to eat or multiple, it's very dangerous. People, the devil tries to kill people over this. Do you hear me? This ain't a game to play with. You don't just go out and do this because you trying to make money no you can the devil is gonna try to kill you over stuff like this do you know how many times the devil didn't try my life and god said no be close with god and stay out the crossfire of these natural disasters ladies and gentlemen because i've been we've been seeing all these things come through that god been telling us all right so that's all i got for y'all today peace and blessings you hear what i'm saying and i will catch y'all in the next one
Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track 